What is up, boys? Uh, we are back here with another video. We're going to be talking about Battles of the Legend, Terminal Revenge, all the cards that are included in here, whether it is a buy or a buy, depending on the situation. I feel like this set is kind of average, but we'll get to it. But uh, this set will be coming out in June 21st, and that is coming up very fast, guys. And that is the official launch date 619 is actually when it's available for ots stores so if you live around the area of an ots store and you can pick this bad boy up um then yeah you can do it like two two days early so yeah uh that's cool i guess anyway so battles of legend terminal revenge what is going on with this set I'm not going to dive in too deep into it as well, guys, like I normally do, because uh, quite frankly, the set is kind of boring. Uh, but also go ahead and follow Dual Daddy because he's the one that provides all these infographics for us to enjoy. So off the hop here, there's a lot of cards that are weird, <laughs> to say the least, right? We have Sengenjin and Gen X Controller. Gen X Controller are a little less weird because there are Gen X cards in here. But I feel like Gen X Controller maybe should have been reprinted um because it's relatively cheap and whatnot I, like Yu-Gi-Oh players right I, I feel like Konami thinks Yu-Gi-Oh players are are stupid or maybe they just think that Yu-Gi-Oh players are young and don't understand how to order stuff or can't due to permissions from their parents order stuff online but uh newsflash Konami I feel like a lot of people that play Yu-Gi-Oh are older and can go to TCG Player and other websites like them to buy cards cheaper than uh, what they were going to get in this set anyways. Because, of course, you have to buy into the set to get these new printings, right? So it is what it is. It's something Konami will continue to do, and we have to kind of um, go with it. Phantom of You Bell, though, is insane because... Uh, if you haven't been following the market, it it's kick off uh, some buyouts for you bell cards. And what is it? Nightmare Throne, I think. I'm really bad with names. Uh, went up by like 20 bucks, guys, which is insane. I held on. I have four copies, and I, I'm glad I held on because I knew... 30 it was like 30 bucks previously i knew that was way too cheap and this isn't a market watch so we're gonna leave it at that but holy shit guys 30 bucks in like a day or two is insane we also got ancient gear dragon which is supporting more ancient gear cards and archer feeds arrival so these three cards right here are a continuation in the support for you bell for the shiny sarcophagus archetype and then the also the ancient gear archetype that we got re relatively soon which you know it's it's expected of course because these cards were released in the ocg side of things about uh three or four months ago we're actually getting these a little bit sooner because of how they moved this set up usually battles of legend sets are later in the year around november december but it got moved to july or june i should say for some odd reason, and now we're getting them a little bit sooner, which is good, honestly, but it's just kind of odd because we got to think, right, what are they going to be doing in the November, December season, especially when they already released Rarity Collection 2 like a month ago. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it's something great because this set is not that good. Uh, Sen Sen Sengenjin is going to be because of the Millennium archetype that is coming out in the next set so there are a lot of cards in here that kind of don't make sense if you haven't been following but they do kind of make sense if you have been following the ocg so the legendary exodia incarnate of course uh, is also in here because the millennium archetype is kind of also an exodia archetype it supports exodia so they're printing some exodia cards in here 25th this is a qcr guys by the way so uh, for better or for worse, you know, DM stuff is always going to be QCR. It is what it is. But at least Phantom of You Bell is a QCR as well. I should kind of think the uh, the Summit Skull should have been a QCR over the Exodia Incarnate. Maybe it is, but, it, you know, the, the body of this guy is just way too big. And the 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 uh, Summit Skull actually looks pretty badass. So, I don't know. I think they kind of missed the mark there. They're reprinting the end of Anubis for whatever reason as a secret rare. I just kind of forgot his effects. So, while well, this card is face up on the field, all effects of Spell Trap and Monster Effects that target a card in the graveyard. Uh, okay, so it's basically like Gravekeeper support essentially like a gravekeeper s support but it doesn't really make sense 
because yeah, not, I haven't seen any decks play this. I don't know. Stubs to toe, and I saw some people getting a little bit upset because they're reprinting uh, Light of Destruction, which was this card was a chase card in that set. So they're kind of double dipping from Light of Destruction reprints, and now also printing this as Secret Rare. Myself, I feel like that's also you know the Konami's just been doing this all the time, and of course I got to call them out, but at least I got to on the bright side, right? Like Substitoad now has a higher rarity printing so i'm trying to stay <laughs> trying to stay positive when konami does this these shenanigans i think the highest rarity subst am i spelling it right i'm pretty sure what it didn't get a uh yeah there we go subst toad i'm pretty sure it only got a rare printing yes yes okay and that's why it's so expensive so getting it as a secret rare is kind of cool in my opinion, but I understand why people are pissed off. Now, here's where we're going to hit some weird stuff that I'm going to skip uh, because I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. I myself haven't been following too closely what these Infernoids and Genexes and Ritual Beasts even do. So I know they're they're technically not new support like they this is going to be old archetypes i, ha I actually do know infernoids quite a bit and they are pretty powerful believe it or not um but i i uh, yeah I, I just don't know if this 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 new support will actually do anything cuz quite frankly we've been having like one and a half years of konami releasing support that really doesn't do much for the archetype it's trying to support um for example we had ancient gear that really didn't do much for the ancient gear uh, archetype the, the new support i mean so it is what it is i'm skipping that because i'm not going to speak out of turn diviner of the herald is something that's pissing people off because it is an ultra rare which i kind of dig you know i feel like a lot of these cards are are it will get a little bit into that point actually i'm going to skip that point so we'll, we'll delve into that point when we get there but people are pissed off because Diviner is going to be a QCR here when it could have been included in Rarity Collection 2 and all the rarities, including the QCR printing that it got here. And I agree with that. Diviner of the Herald would have actually fit Rarity Collection 2 to a T because I feel like Rarity Collection 2 is just like the Rarity Collection for the waifus. And actually, that's why I've started a, a, uh, a little challenge for myself trying to find all the cool waifus that I find interesting at least. But anyways, digressing here, we got the second page here, which is Sprite Blue, and that leads me to the point that I kind of skipped with Diviner. This set just kind of feels like they're reprinting stuff that could, should have been reprinted like a year ago. Like the, a lot of these archetypes, and not even a year ago. I mean, sprites are pretty old now, but I, 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 printing them a year ago would have been a lot better. And they kind of technically did in the past Battle of Legends set, but I think they only printed like two sprite cards, and then they didn't reprint them in the in the uh, in the tins for the 2023 tins. Which is interesting. So now they, we, the point I'm trying to make in, in this set, right? And it, again, the point of this video is buy or buy. And I'm going to go with buy as in see ya. Because a lot of these cards are just not that good in this format. So are they going to be changing the format? Are we going to get a ban list? You know, and I'm not even too competitive. I'm not into the competitive scene. But who's playing sprites? Like I know... I'm an idiot, but I I even know that people are not playing sprites. It's just not in in the correct format currently, right? Like they aren't doing that well, and there's not really that much hype behind it from what I've seen too. There's hype behind purely. There's hype behind labyrinth and all that stuff. Uh, but it, it is what it is, and, and the problem with that is too, and, and that's really why I wanted to talk about this set is. For the past year or so, all the new archetypes that Konami's been trying to push have flopped except Snake Eyes. And you can see that because the the they had uh, the Manadium archetype or whatever the hell it's called that had so much support. Manadium. I believe that's what it's called, but uh, Manadium, maybe? What, whatever the hell it's called, man. It's like a whole bunch of balls... And, and they're like uh, fairies or something. I don't know. And the archetype sucked. 
People tried to make it work, and it didn't work. They went back into the previous, uh, the the previous meta basically, and they started playing Cash again, Cash Tira. They started playing uh, Lubion. They started, you know, once Snake Eyes came around, they started picking up Snake Eyes because the arc, the the support that Konami has been releasing has sucked. The new archetypes that Konami has been releasing has sucked for the last year. So really. The battles of legend this 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 year in general, but it is specifically in battles of legend, we're gonna see a lot of reprints that should have been reprints a year ago, and now they're just reprinting them because they have nothing else to print, uh, other than the stuff that they should be printing. Because uh, we'll we'll take a look at TCG player actually here, because they should be printing other stuff in the set, but they're not going to because they're gonna try to sell other sets down the line, right? Like bonfire, bonfire should have technically been in here, yes. It came out six months ago, but it's still currently being used in the meta. And, uh, you know, might, might as well print it when it's being used. That's what I'm trying to say here. And, and it will actually sell this set. Finally, you can't even buy Maze of Millennia or Maze of Memory, whatever the hell the millennia in stores anymore. So might as well just reprint it in a new set that will get people to buy it. I mean, they've done it before. They've killed sets before. I don't know why they're too afraid to to kill that set that people can't even buy anymore in, in the stores and try to drive some value. And even then, this is one of the worst picks that I can think of. I, I'm just saying that because it's literally in the front page. But I mean, shit. Snake Eyes is popular, right? Why not just print uh, the the Diabell star, star, star check? I mean, Age of Overlord should be being printed. I think it's getting printed in the 2023 tins. So why not just reprint some stuff early? They've done this before too with the previous Battles of Legends that where they reprinted some Lubion stuff before the tins. They they actually yeah they reprinted Lubion himself. Uh, what are they called? Branded? I forgot the fucking dragon's names, man. Bad with names, but they actually printed Lubion as a QCR. They could have done the same thing here with with some of these Diabalstar uh, cards, but I guess also since they were already some of them in QCRs, it's going to be hard for them to include in these sets but i mean besides that they could also just reprint the bestials that's what they're name they're, they're called they can just reprint some more bestials because they've been going up in value or at least the ones that have seen some come up in value uh, print stuff that people are actually playing is, is really what i'm trying to get at triple tactics thrust also i mean it was in maze of millennia not that long ago as well but just print it to death already like there's there's nothing much that cannot there's not many choices konami has in the reprint block in in this uh, right now currently because there hasn't been anything worthy of reprinting because they haven't done uh, anything decent in the past year, quite frankly, right? The Snake Eyes is the only thing they came out since a year ago, except SP. That's actually the other card I forgot. SP should have been in, in this set. And, and if SP was in this set, it would have driven so many people to buy the set, myself included. It's not even funny. But again, it's a QCR already. They probably didn't want to include it because it's a QCR and it would cannibalize more QCRs essentially. But, uh, Curry Kara, Secret Rare, that's decent, but again, uh, that's like 10 formats ago or something. Uh, it's probably, it says here, Secret Rare, it's probably also QCR, as I predicted, because I'm awesome at predicting, I guess. I don't know. It's just kind of obvious, guys. They are going to reprint every Starlight in QCR, especially if it's a waifu. Just get, accept it. The 2024 tins have like 25 or no 50 qcrs so expect a shitload of starlight value to drop in that set as well granola dragon okay yeah that was kind of expensive uh they're reprinting some of the vanilla fusions that's cool proxy f magician that was kind of seeing some buyouts gigantic sprites again that's a couple formats too late sprint i think was actually kind of expensive recently snatch steel kind of a decent reprint and it gets the 25th i, I approve of this it did just come off the ban no i think it was limited either it came off the ban list or became limited whatever good reprints in my opinion I, I do like them throwing in the old um classic cards in higher rarities in these sets uh, especially if they're actually useful and not fucking anubis or whatever um ice barrier or something or other again a couple formats ago spring its kit a couple formats ago kind of late on that sprite starter sprites a couple formats ago like i already said so as far as what to do with this set, right? Oh, and actually, there's some controver controversy. Apparently, 
the Sky Striker Ray Rose or Rose and Dragon Master Magia Magi are only available as QCRs, which is interesting. So unless the QCRs are going to be easier to obtain, Konami just fumbled the bag here because people, if I understand Ray and Rose, who the hell cares? I mean, I'm, I ain't no sip, so I, I'm not even going for those waifus, right? But the Dragon Master Magi. The 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 introduction set, the set that is importing the bad boy, is making him a quarter century exclusive. That is low, Konami. That really is low. And so that comes to the conclusion, buy or buy. And uh, we're going to say goodbye to this set. I, I, I'm only going to buy probably like a box and a couple blisters for the channel to open because, you know, I need stuff to open. There has been not a lot of interesting stuff to open um, since Phantom Nightmare. Honestly, I haven't had that, uh, a lot of fun. Phantom Nightmare and Rarity Collection 2, but Rarity Collection 2, it, it just dry, It just kicks the, the collector in me, right? This set doesn't either. There's no nostalgia for me. There's no, no, nothing here for me personally that that really gets me going, I guess. And there's nothing here for me to collect necessarily either. I do not want to open stuff up, you know, get cards from past formats that I can't even sell at a high price to make my money back. And the in the chase for these QCRs, I just can't do it. I can't do it with a set. So. For my, in my opinion, it is goodbye to the set. Buy Rarity Collection 2 instead. Wait for the next main set, maybe, I guess. But uh, Infinite Forbidden, I guess. Or maybe wait, just just wait for the, the tins at this point. There's going to be 50 QCRs. Probably going to be a lot of nostalgia crap in there. It's it's going to be better than, than Terminal Revenge. That is for sure. Catch you guys in the next one.